ho, 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 ho. Hi, everyone. There's three hoes, all right, but there's one somewhere else you can't see. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is Annie. Welcome, welcome. This is Heidi. Hello. Here at ACT Studio Theater, as you can see here, the list of above. Um, we wanted to do something for the holiday, so this is it for you guys. We have a couple of interesting things. I know Heidi put together um, some fun uh, well, trivia questions, wasn't it? Yeah, I have some trivia questions for you a little bit later on. And we have some great videos that were sent to us. And Andy's going to be singing, I'm going to be singing. So we have a couple of things going on. But the main reason, send in your donations whenever you can. And we also want to tell you about a couple of exciting things. We have some virtual Zoom plays that we've done. We just did the, was it a marriage proposal? Steve Mayer, who is our technician today, he helped us. Um, he helps us put this whole thing together. And I want to get a shout out to Chad Jevenice. Right. Jevenice, too. Um, he also helped us put the set together. And so. Which, yes, actually, let's take a moment. Well, let me finish. All right. Steve, we have a great show called Magic Proposal, and it's going to be Please go to our web page or go to YouTube, uh, Facebook. You can view it now. And I directed just recently on Zoom the importance of being earnest, and that is going to be up and running next Saturday. And we offer these things to you to let you know that ACT is still in business and we are still up and running but we are obviously trying to be COVID compliant. We have so our masks we are, here, we were working yes, with earlier. I had my mask on and um, so we are making sure that you are still entertained by ACT so we keep our, our theater out there through Zoom and we're going to be having January the 16th another play that's coming up and also Midsummer Night Stream is going to be directed. That's going to be down in Stewart. We'll have that up on our webpage. You'll be able to see that. And that's uh, in coordination with the Martin Co County Arts Council. And so, again, we just want to keep theater alive in Stewart. So ACT Studio Theater, that's where you want to send your donations. And so, yeah, let's talk about the set. This is so yeah, great. Yeah, what do we... What do we have here? We have some Christmas we have trees. Christmas trees. Um, I especially like. Am I? I think I'm blocking the view to it. But there is these dolls back here that yeah. are a movie. animated dolls. Yeah, and they they have names. Oh, Noel and Noel. And Noel. Yeah. Noel twins. We have the Noel twins uh, yeah. accompanying us tonight. Uh, they're going to be doing a, a beautiful tap number. It's going to be great. It's a boy and a girl. Are they identical twins? Never mind. <laughs> and we have a Christmas tree that Chad decorated. It's lovely. So thanks to him. Shout out to him. And we have a lovely wreath. And we have some candy canes. I was using them earlier as a cane. And um, you're gonna need it. <laughs> Andy just came from a rehearsal from across the street. The barn, the chorus line is going up in a few weeks. So check that out from the barn. They do a lot of work. Uh, in the community, we also they help us out with props and costumes, and so they do a lot for us as well. So we want to give a shout out to the barn. So I think we should probably go to our first video, don't you? Do think? you want to? I don't know. I want to hear more about these trivia's that you have. Okay. So <laughs> the first person to answer the question. We'll talk about what you have prepared for everybody. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. But the first person to answer the question correctly, you get bragging rights. <laughs> I just, I'll blow you a kiss, that's what I'll do. So uh, we're going to uh, have a couple of things. They're to do with songs, because this is a song-related show. So let's start with the most hated songs, the most hated songs, Christmas songs. And we have the ten most hated songs. Now don't go to Google. Try to guess. Try to guess what the most hated songs are. I know you're looking them up. So, I will just tell you that um, the um, they vary with different people. Some people are dead. Some people are still with us. Some people are um, 
there are, are a couple of songs on here that absolutely should be on here. They're horrible. Are there any answers over there, Chad? Chad is monitoring our, our feed, our live feed, to see um, what's... Nothing yet. Nothing yet. I will tell you that number 10 is Michael Bublé's Santa Baby. Apparently his Santa really? Baby. Really? I never would have thought Michael Bublé. He's very well known for a lot of his... Oh, he's, um, he's awesome. Yeah, I'm surprised that, because he, he dedicated like, an entire album. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm surprised. Yeah, Michael will play Santa Sorry, Baby. Michael. My bad, Mike. And I think the next one will surprise you too. Lady Gaga, Christmas Tree. Now, I personally have never heard this song, but number nine is Lady Gaga, Christmas Tree. Wow. Now, I want you to sing the next one for us. <laughs> if I know it. I'm sure you do. Elmo and Patsy sang. <laughs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Oh! <laughs> How does the melody that go? Grandma, Grandma got, got run over by a reindeer. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> and I don't know the rest of it, but that's probably why. That's all you need to know to hate it. Now the next one is um, by a, a dead singer. Sorry to say, John Denver. Well, dead. are these going to be trivias at some point, or are you well, going to go to the next? I'm going to okay. go for the uh, ten through six. Then we're going to cut to the video. Then we're going to come back with the last five and see if we have anybody that you may have tried so to answer. Listen for any so words. John Denver is our number seven with "Please, Daddy, Don't Get Drunk This Christmas." <laughs> <laughs> Please, Daddy, don't get drunk. I can cheers. I can speak in cheers to that. Yeah, I sure. think we should get cheers to that. And then, um... Oh, is there anything in here? No. <laughs> so then the next one is the Jackson 5. Number 6 is the Jackson 5, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. Now, I can vouch for this one because it's really annoying to listen to. <laughs> that was when Michael Jackson was not in his heyday. He was a little boy back then, and he had... He had a great voice, could really sing, but it was annoying to listen to, I have to say that. So that is 10 through 6, and after the first video, we will come back with the top 5 most hated Christmas songs. So the first video that we're going to have is from... I believe our first video that we have submitted it to us is actually uh, Dennis's good grand old boy, uh, Evan. Uh, so, Evan's going to be singing and playing on the piano as well uh, this Christmas, and I I had no idea how talented <laughs> Dennis's entire family actually really was, and you'll see for yourselves, of course. Yeah, uh, it's really uh, wonderful. It, it was phenomenal, so mm -hmm. I'm really happy to cut to this video, and I'm sure you guys will be absolutely in awe of everything at the end. So here's Evan O'Donnell. Ho, ho, ho. got a very special message to share this Christmas. Hang all the mistletoe I'm gonna get to know you better This Christmas and as we trim the tree how much fun it's gonna be
so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and uh, enjoy the rest of the performances. That was awesome. I love that song. Evan, if you're watching, thank you so much for sending that video. That was terrific. Ho, ho, ho. So now, uh, did we get any guesses for the... No guesses. No guesses. No guesses for number five. Well, we must be so entertaining that you don't want to go to Google to find out what it is either. So thank you for that. We understand. Okay, so number five, which I want you to sing this one too. <laughs> Dominic the donkey. Uh, <laughs> Dominic the donkey. <laughs> yeah, so that's number five, Dominic the donkey, and I'm sure some of you know that that uh, song. It's, if you're out there right now for this holiday season thinking of composing a song, don't. <laughs> yeah. So number four is the Chipmunk song, Christmas Don't Be Late by Alvin and the Chipmunks. I love that song. I think it's adorable. I, think, I don't I think, understand that one. I think one. he wrote this list. I think. I, think I did not. I got this on Google. All right. <laughs> I'm, I pretty much know that you're not going to know the first one. But anyway, going on, do you remember a number of years ago, all the artists got together and they did certain things to help oh, out like, um, the world for the world. Yeah. So this was at Christmas and it was Do They Know It's Christmas and it was by Band Aid. So why would that be one of the most hated songs for Christmas? I would think that it would be a, a loved song. There's Scrooges in the world. I guess there are. <laughs> Scrooge you. And then the next one, number two, is Wonderful Christmas Time by Paul McCartney. He's passed, right? No, oh, Paul no. McCartney. Bite your tongue! <laughs> Paul McCartney of the Beatles? Come on. Two of the Beatles are left. Showing my age. You know, I was going to marry Paul McCartney. Tell us I was about the 17. Story. I, Paul McCartney, and I were going to be married. That's all I'm telling you. Okay, no, the number one hated song. Feliz Navidad. No. No. Although I hate that. <laughs> the number one hated song is, and you're not going to know it, The Christmas Shoes. Have you ever heard it? The Christmas Shoes. Are they like Christmas shoes? It, it's it's a really about, sad song. It is a terribly sad song. And it's about a little boy that's in line and he only has like a dollar thirty and he yeah, has a pair of shoes, shoes in his, for his hands. Mom and she's he, dying. Yeah, she <laughs> wants he wants to buy a pair of shoes for his mom because she's dying. Please sir, may I have it's some more? So sad. And that's the number one hated shoes, song please. for Christmas. And thank you very much. <laughs> I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. So I want you to start thinking about the most given gift at Christmas. I think that will be funny. That's a good one. Well, we'll come back. The uh, most given gift. And we'll talk about, because we did Secret Santa this year, as we do like um, many a years uh, for family tradition. And this year we did it a little bit different. My sister hosted it. And she had a board, and everyone had like this little cue card almost. And they had to write their name. Uh, their like uh, wardrobe sizes, um, 
And then one of them was, well, you want your secret Santa to know the most that you're like, if there's anything you've been really eyeing or like anything you've been really into, like your interest lately. Yes, I'd like that Rolex watch. And then exactly. <laughs> um, and then there's an, another row where it lists um, what you've what you've received too much of and too many of, and I have to pull it up. And Freddie, if you're watching, my cousin, if you're watching, I'm 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 sorry about this, but the world has to know. Um, so. I got my cousin, Freddie, well hopefully he's not watching because now you know that I'm a horrible secret keeper. Um, things I prefer not to receive slash already have enough of. Socks and boxers. Boxers? Is so, that you or him? That's his card. But then in the row, what in, uh, write in what you want your secret Santa to know and if you have anything you really want on your wish list. He wrote, and I quote, don't be broke. Don't be broke. <laughs> don't be broke. <laughs> so we'll see if you either get a million dollars or a million doll hairs. Yeah. We'll tune in shortly. <laughs> Am I up next on this hit parade? Actually, would you like to be? We, we sure, can. We can I'll make sing that a song for you. So our very own Heidi Thompson Comden is going to sing a beautiful song. So... And you have the ones there? No, you have to put them on that. Okay. I didn't know if the one that we, we were using already oh has the ones Oh my available. goodness, isn't it great that we have a technical director that's so technically challenged? <laughs> yeah, I said it! <laughs> Anytime today, while well, it's still Christmas. Listen. Doing the lyrics for Wicked. Let's try this. How do we do this? There we go. Let me turn it on bright and large for you. So is that the one that you? Your prehistoric eyes can see. Is that the right one though? Uh, That's not the right one. In the style of Cornelius. I hope it's in the right key. It's in G minor. Oh. I guess it's gonna be. I guess it is. And there you go. In G minor, everyone. This is Mary Did You Know, by the way. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? And this child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know your baby boy will give sight to the blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, you kissed the face of God. Oh, Mary, did you know? Did you know that your baby boy 
It's Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? And the sleeping child you're holding is the great Which isn't as crazy as I thought. There's another candle, uh, 
very much endorsed by uh, Archie Brown. I believe he bought one of them. It's uh, labeled, This Smells Like My Vagina. Um, <laughs> enough! <laughs> enough! Enough! This has now gone into an R-rated show. So we're going to go on with the eight most popular Christmas carols. Number eight is Deck the Hall. So is it Deck the Halls or is it Deck the Hall? Dex, deck Dex the, the Hall the or Deck the, the Halls? Halls? I think it's Deck the Hall. And then number seven is All I Want for Christmas is My True Petite. Oh. If Leslie is still watching, do you remember we used to sing that? And then number six is The Twelve Days of Christmas. There's a, yeah, there it is. And it just happens to be playing right now. That's so funny. The next one is Silent Night. Now that to me is a Christmas carol. Those other that three were nice, Christmas, yeah. you know. Although Deck the Hall, mm, that could be a Christmas carol. Then number four is Frosty the Snowman. We had a dog growing up and my mom, he was all white, a beautiful dog, and his name was Frosty. Was he a snowman? He was. He's been dead for a few years. She still calls me Frosty. And then the next one is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I like uh, Bruce Springsteen's version of that. And then the next one is Jingle Bells. And what do you think is number one? Uh, is this most hated? No, these are the top Christmas. These are top carols, okay. Yeah. I think, what was two? Jingle Bells. Two is Jingle Bells. That's Jingle Bells, yes. I think number one is, um, uh, Chris, what is it? Christmas rock? These are uh, Christmas carols, oh, although carols. this really isn't a carol. But I guess if you were singing, if you are going around the neighborhood, this would be the number one song that people would ask for, maybe? It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <gasps> Have you seen the Hamilton version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Oh, it's that was really so good! Cool. That was cool. cool. I really love that. If you have me as a friend on Facebook, go to my Facebook page. I have it listed there. It is so funny. Yeah, people it's just so know cool. exactly what to do to a song. So. Yeah, very cool. So I think we they should get... have another video. I think we can do that. Let's have another we video. In. Uh, what do we I, have coming in this time? I'm not mistaken. Next, uh, we have another relative from the Dennis family, from the O'Donovans. Mm -hmm. um, it is... I believe she's singing All I Want From Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey, and her name is Alana Sam. Sam. <laughs> just kidding, I gave you too many syllables there, Sam, my bad. Sam, just one syllable, remember it. Well, I'm sure that's short for... So yeah, let's have her, here's Sam singing. Hear 
those magic reindeer click. I just want you here tonight. Holding on to me so tight. What more can I do? Baby, all I want for Christmas is you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Okay, hi everybody, we're back. That is Sam Hudson, and she's from New York. And we want to thank Sam. She's wonderful. New York, it's New probably York. freezing in there right now. Yeah, right. And uh, don't forget to donate, PayPal, ACT Theater. ACT Theater, we have uh, Venmo and Cash App. Cash App and also PayPal. ACT Studio Theater. While we're talking about New York, we want to have a shout out to the Long Island Cabaret. Long Island Cabaret, hello, 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 Dennis is hello. A cowboy. Uh, we have an interesting uh, tidbit here that we got from Chad. If you were to... Thank you. If you were to purchase all of the gifts for the 12 days of Christmas, you would have to spend $105,561.80. That's a lot, a lot of water bills. You do not have to buy all of those for me. Just the five golden rings will do fine. <laughs> I'll take one. And this, you know what? In the 12 days of Christmas, there is no chocolate. There is nothing referred to as chocolate. Like, hello? They I'll, need to I'll, update that thing. I'll eat some chocolate. I definitely eat some chocolate. So now we're going to feature Andy. He's going to sing us a Christmas I song. I will. I will sing one. Yeehaw. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, All come right. a little closer. Come closer, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> Name that movie. These people aren't as old as you, Heidi. They're not going to know. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go over that way. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we know place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping, and I brought some corn for Papa. Lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. We finally kiss goodnight. How I hate going out in soul. But if you really hold me tight, then all the way home I'll stay warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. As long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. You got some candles, let me know. You set my fire's cozy glory. Don't care about the cold and the winds that blow. He just says, Take it home, fire. Let it snow, let it snow. We go to the store. 
Jingle Bell Rock, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, Holly Jolly Christmas. Uh, By? Holly Jolly Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. Oh, God. What'd you say, Dennis? We're alive. We're alive. That's right. Burlesque. See? You. <laughs> and then later on, I'm going to sing this song, the Christmas song by Nat King Cole. And then Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That was Gene Autry. And uh, Last Christmas by Wham. Wham! Right in the kitchen. George Michael. Oh. Is, he, is he passed? Yeah, he's gone. And Let It Snow, Let It Snow oh, by well, Dean Martin. That. Dean Martin is passed. <laughs> You're really hot there. And here comes Santa Claus right got down layers. Santa Claus Lane. That's Gene Autry. So, um. You're really cold. I am. I'm a cold girl. See my nails? I have you are. You're a cold hearted killer. It's because I'm. I have cold If you ever worked with Heidi and she. If you ever worked with her or under her as she was a director for the show and you still have lips, I congratulate you. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of an inside joke for all of the people that have been in my casts, but um, I hope that... Too. I'll rip your lips off! <laughs> is what she usually says as you're performing your lines, regardless if it's a serious scene. That's right. You get it wrong, you get it wrong. They don't step up. And that's one thing that we'd like to continue here at ACT is we yes. have musicals we've done. The Fantastics, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. Just before COVID hit, we did Cabaret. Cabaret. That was a sold out show. Absolutely. We had to add phenomenal. shows. It was a wonderful production. The cast was just terrific. And we I know you love them here, the, these musicals. You guys sold out that cabaret, so if you guys definitely want to keep this theater alive, we have those Cash App and Venmo there going, as well as the PayPal being posted. So please help us yes, continue. Yes, donate a dollar, five dollars, anything really counts. Anything. And again, our ultimate goal is to expand the theater. We were able to get the other building alongside, not building, the other space, uh, space alongside of us, so we want to open up and expand the theater so that we can bring you bigger productions and make it so that lots of people can come see yeah. ACT because there's some really talented people here. So please make your donation 
it is tax deductible because we are a 501c3 and it is tax deductible here at ACT. It was a delightful kitchen, yes? That's what yeah. they were called. The yeah. delightful kitchen that was uh, right next to ACT Theater in between uh, the annex and the theater has moved uh, to another location here in Stewart. Uh, so we do have uh, that space that we're trying to hold on to and build out, but we won't be able to do it uh, without your guys' help. So we really, really need you guys uh, to uh, support this theater right now more than ever to Anything keep things really going. Us. Anything. Give generously. Uh, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, <laughs> ho, I'll throw an extra one in there for you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, moving on, we're going to do another video that has been sent to us by John Zanet. Is that correct? Damn it, Janet. Zanet. Zanet. Janet. Zanet. Zanet. And um, I hope you enjoy He's this singing, video. Is he singing, what, what song is he singing? Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's an original or if it's a cover. It's a cover if I'm not mistaken. Teach your mistaken. children. Plug yourselves in that. Teach your children. Oh, teach your children, yes. Yeah, you don't know this one. It's before your time. But I hope you enjoy it. And uh, again, we want to thank everybody that sent us a video. It's uh, really great to help us with these Absolutely. cabarets. So here is John Zenit. you can live by and so become yourself because the past is just a goodbye teach your children well their father's hell did slowly go by and free them on your dreams the one day picks the one you'll know by don't you ever ask them why if they told you you will cry so just look at them and sigh and know they It can get pretty tedious, so that was that was so really awesome. So he sang all the parts, 
and he had all the, the, yeah. you know, the lead and the harmonies. There. That was pretty darn and then good. And join them all collectively. Yeah, that was awesome. That was I awesome think job. I'll do that for the next cabaret. I won't come here. I'll just send in a video. I think that would be. <laughs> we could do that, or we can even do something like that and have like everybody who's done an ACT production can do a part, and yeah. then we can have all those parts. And if you're watching and yes. you performed here on uh, our stage at ACT you. Studio Theater, uh, send in a message, reach out. Um, if you want to participate in something collectively that we, I guess, just kind of started now, um, yeah. Yeah, reach, us, reach out to us. We'll definitely uh, use you guys and uh, have you guys featured in one of our next cabarets. That would be delightful. That would be lovely. Yeah. So we're going to be wrapping things up uh, shortly, but we just wanted to, again, thank all the people that did send in videos and also remind you that ACT is here on East Ocean. What's the address? 2399 Southeast Ocean Boulevard, Stewart, 2399 East Ocean Boulevard, Stewart, 34992? Oh, 6. 34996. Uh, so if you are writing a check out to my next show cash it is 2399 <laughs> southeast ocean boulevard stewart florida 34996 so please send in your donations to act and also remember to keep theater alive because what really has kept you going during the covid we have theater online we've had all kinds of <coughs> people that have done zoom productions there's well, obviously Hamilton came out. Can you tell I'm obsessed? Obsessed. And she, this is her. This is, she bought uh, the actual wardrobe uh, worn <laughs> by Jonathan Groff. Yes, this is my Groff sauce. <laughs> <laughs> but, but again, theater got you through. Programming got you through. Absolutely. And the Absolutely. arts got you through. So let's pay back. And so we want to make sure that we stay in business. So please send in your donations to through Venmo, Cash app. Cash app, and PayPal, or just write us a check. You can drop it off, you can send it through the mail. And before I forget anything else, this is Andy, and Dennis is the owner, operator, producer, director, omnipotent, all the, all the <laughs> way. <laughs> Thank you, my child. <laughs> <laughs> of ACT, and uh, he works really hard to get the shows together and yes. to get the best directors, to get the best yes. actors, uh -huh. and so we want to make sure that he and Karen get thanked. Which, hopefully. again, speaking of the productions that they put on, <coughs> uh, Ernest. Yes, the importance, the importance of, of being Ernest. Ernest is, is if you can see here the green screen that was being used, uh, we're doing some editing and stuff for that show. Um, but Heidi is directing it. There's a I very, very done. talented cast. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pedro, um, uh, Ryan, uh, who else is in it? Oh, gosh. Um, Pat? Pat, uh, Pat yes, Clelia. and Clelia, Clelia Saul. Nancy, Saul, Saul and um, oh, <laughs> there's eight of the eight, nine of the David Pierce. He has a pet grooming service. It's just amazing how many people come together. And people that you wouldn't think would be so talented, and they are. That's so the beauty of our, so I think. so lucky yeah. to have those people available Absolutely. to us. So we want to close out the show with the Christmas song. I'm going to be singing that. Are you, and are you changing for this number? Am I changing? What am I changing into? Maybe a young, beautiful woman. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing the Christmas song, so I hope you enjoy it. And, again, we want to thank you very much for joining us here at ACT Theater for our Christmas cabaret. And we also want to thank Stephen Mayer, who has been our technical director, and Chad, our hearty stage and technical hand here today. So, again, thank you very much. Thank you. This is actually not ACT theater. Um, theater, we're, we're streaming from Heidi's uh, retirement home yeah. that we placed her in recently here. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. 
Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir, and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from 1 to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Enjoy the season. And to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs>